Okay, um, just like to bring you to uh, my new situation. So I've been uh, basically <coughs> moved out of London and um, I wasn't able to uh, get any legal support or anything like that. Um, so uh, yeah, I just had to, had to walk away. Um, things to note, uh, my broadband's a lot quicker <laughs> since I moved out um, on wireless. Right, so the uh, BT super quick internet I had was slower than the wireless that I get in the middle of uh, the West Country. So um, yeah, anyway, so and uh, I'm not using the phone, so I'm not being uh, harassed by phone calls anymore, um, by insurance companies or just people asking me to switch my computer on and things like that. So. Um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do uh, now, I'm going to start measuring the raid on down this way, uh, compare it with London, uh, sort of go with the first uh, section of uh, YouTube videos I did. Um, so uh, I'm down here, got the Geiger counter, uh, or two, or three, and uh, I'm basically going to be counting stuff. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm just basically uh, uh, looking into uh, getting some equipment as well to measure raid on specifically. Uh, to try and uh, gauge the amount of becquerels uh, per uh, litre that uh, is in the air, as opposed to just a, you know, a Geiger counter reading, which is, isn't uh, a great way of uh, checking for radon. However, um, it, is, uh, it does react to the radon, and uh, we've got a 10 minute read there, if you give me a sec. Uh, 10 minute read, 37.5, so that's a uh, point. 37, uh, uh, 37 and a half CPM over a 10 minute stretch. Um, that would be between 0.1 microsieverts and 0.1 microsieverts uh, measuring radon. Um, so that's comparable with London. That's, that's about what I would expect in London. Uh, in fact, yesterday I got 31 uh, CPM over a 10 minute read. And uh, basically I've got uh, what else? So I got uh, a bit later on in the day yesterday. I got 39 CPM, so it's a little bit higher than, so just just about on the uh, 0.11 microsieverts per hour. But uh, once again, it, it'd be handy to uh, measure the becquerels per per uh, uh, liter, um, so that we can get a, you know a comparison with the radon maps, um, which uh, the UK has and the Europe has as well. Uh, and there's certain hot spots, and those hot spots contribute to averaging out a, a higher average of uh, radon. Now, uh, why am I concerned about this? Uh, well, when I looked into it, um, UNSCEAR this year was saying basically that they wanted to add like, you know, uh, one, um, it, one um, millisievert, uh, basically. Um, well, basically, it works out that uh, they want. 0.1 microsieverts is all the sun and all the other things, uh, and then basically they wanted to add another 0.1 um, uh, to make it 0.2 microsievert um, for natural radon, and they use the radon maps, uh, the averaged out radon maps. And when you look at the radon maps, you go to the, the places that are least populated, um, and then they basically have um, uh, a sort of very high radon incidence. And that's where I am now, and I'm not really seeing high. I've, I've measured higher radon uh, incidents in London, as you can see by my earlier videos. Um, <clears throat> it's been all right. So basically, the, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to try and compare these radon maps to see if there, there is one microsievert there, even if it is averaged out. Now, an earlier UNSCEAR report, which they've ignored, uh, a set of uh, reports uh, peer-reviewed by UNSCEAR themselves, um, said, well, actually, the amount of dose per person for this radon is much, much less, because they, instead of it being 200 becquerels uh, per litre, I think it is, uh, it goes down to 10. So instead of 200, it's 10, uh, which means that the radon uh, dose, if you like, is, is insignificant. 
So then they say, well, you go to these places and you can measure incredibly high rate on all the time. You know, it's the average out over a year and it's massive and nobody's having a problem. Well, you know, you go to Iran, you go further up the mountains, uh, there is an increase of cancer on the way up, which is uh, showing uh, ionizing from the uh, ionizing radiation from the sun and also radon from the rocks and the mountains. So you have a double whammy as you go up the mountains, you know, and, and uh, studies done in Iran probably to them closing their uh, web space off, I was looking at it, uh, were showing that as you go up the mountains, the uh, rate of cancer increased. So, yeah, all right, so radon is a problem. Ionizing radiation from the sun is a problem. So, uh, but then, you know, where's the radon coming from? That's my other thing, isn't it? Obviously. And I think that comes from waste processing, you know, when they're burning all this stuff, you know, in their great new idea of burning, that uh, it releases massive amounts of radon. And this radon is definitely carcinogenic. There's no question about that. Uh, but here I am looking for natural radon in Dartmoor. Uh, would appear La Hague isn't spurting off this way. Um, the rain is fairly clean. Um, it's pouring with rain out there. And, uh, you know, as I said, I'm getting about 38 CPM. And you can hear the Geiger counter maybe in the background, just the odd click here and there. Uh, nothing too sort of uh, uh, hectic. All right, so that's where I am, that's what I'm doing now. So, you know, I've my life was totally ruined by the powers that be. Um, I've documented some of that and I'm just I'm moving on from that now. You know, I, I can't see any reason to harp on. Um, they have certain situations that um, they're basically, uh, that they could put me in, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, um, I, I, mean, I can only go with the flow. Um, so I've given up most of my stuff now, <laughs> the little that's left is, isn't an issue. So, uh, you know, I really think this is worth doing. Uh, having said that, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, but that's my plan. My plan is to map out everything here, all the raid on stuff, see if it matches up. Is this one, you know, one, uh, point 0.1 microsievert per hour, uh, you know, okay. Because at the end of the day, it, in Fukushima, they're saying, well, 0.2 microsieverts, not a problem. No, it is a problem, and it, and it causes cancer. You can go to Iran, the mountains of Iran, find that out, and I've yet to find out about the Finland uh, uh, radon patch. Um, just, uh, and I will be measuring that, I can assure you, at some future point when I get some funding. But, um, but I can do the Bodmin Moor and the Dartmoor and all these sort of areas, work out around the estuaries. Um, I think the estuaries are where we're finding higher higher measurements. Um, up to 0.14 microsievert I found there. So, but, but once again, this is not, put, you know, this is, that's radon plus the sun plus whatever else that they put, put, put in, you know, the potassium and everything else. So um, I, I'm going to be coming to this, first point one where the, the uh, they look at the sun and all these other things um, a bit later because I think that's wrong as well but but just for now I'm going to concentrate on the point one microsiever of radon that we're supposed to be getting uh, according to Unscare on average so that's completely wrong um, so uh, yeah I'm going to be looking for uh, you know up to point four microsiever so I, I would be expecting to see something like that on my Geiger count I'd find radon that would be quite heavy and uh, the, the gamma rays would really sort of react with the Geiger counter. That's what I would expect to see. Lots of very high quick peaks and things like that. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, so that's me. I'm, I'm becoming a bit of a scientist in my old age now. It would look, it would appear, uh, mainly because the scientists aren't, uh, aren't funded to do this sort of work. You know, the last work I think, was it, I might be wrong, it was either 1970 or 1990. The, I think it was later actually, uh, but it was the uh, some work done by some Unskir scientists that were, you know that went around and actually measured the radon in houses and said, you know, uh, this these radon maps should not be taken, but these radon maps are being used by the Americans to say, well, you know, you know, in Japan, you know, that this is exactly, you know, this is fine, there's no problem. Um, so anyway, I'm I'm not going to harp on anymore. Um, yep, yeah, I'm settled, I'm comfortable, I'm having. Um, cups of tea and all these things very china bone china cup um, so life isn't too bad and uh, yeah life could get better but uh, or worse <laughs> but the main thing is I've got a mission so I'm gonna gonna head on with it you know um, 
uh, I hope I'm feeling a little bit better and looking better than I, uh, you last saw me. I, I think I was quite stressed. I was doing things like rubbing my neck, checking for my pulse, that type of thing. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not so, I'm not so scratchy now. <laughs> I would like to think. Um, I've got some other plans as well. I, I think that Nuclear News should get on to uh, this uh, is it, uh, Freedom TV. I've got dyslexia, so I'll keep forgetting the name of the thing, but David Icke's new uh, TV show. And I have put uh, an email to them, and they have responded, uh, but they're going to get back to me when they've... They, they, I think they're checking me out, basically, so I'm going to let them get back to me in the round good time. Uh, maybe I'll draft a, let an email up with a kind of CV about what I've done, just to make it easy for them if, if they... Because yeah, apparently they're quite busy. Uh, but I'm going to try UK Column as well, because they're just down the road from where I am. Um, so, you know, they're a really good bunch of investigators. I don't know if they're going to be interested in the nuclear stuff necessarily. Um, maybe there's some other things that I'm, I'm covering that uh, I might be able to cover for them as well. You know, you know if, if they need a, a researcher, you know, maybe I can do some research uh, on their behalf. Um, uh, because I have a bit more time on my hands. So, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd put this researching uh, ability that I've picked up uh, to some good use. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to put this video up. You're going to see it. And um, yeah, people who know me are going to say, well, he's doing all right. He's got a cup of tea. And uh, probably a bit of music as well, if I so wished. I'll just... Uh, the end of Angel. Oh, no, it's not happening. So, uh, yeah, take care. That's a little excerpt there. But not enough to get the YouTube sound to go.